What's up guys and welcome back with some more Limbus Company and today we are checking out a brand new ID for Raja and a brand new Ego for Ishmael. I know I'm late on this video, I'm going to be trying to catch up on stuff that I've missed over like the last two weeks right now so just bear with me. So we have, Dev okay what is it, Deviat, okay so Deviat North Section 3 Raja and Bygone Days Ishmael. So here we go my dudes. I have not Limbus seen... Company. I have not seen this. The hell? Alright. Alright, Ish. <laughs> Turn into Wolverine for me. Don't mind if I do. That's a badass shot with the freaking pocket watch out. Got the blood splatter on the face and then the skull on the back. I, I like it. I dig it. What the f That's beautiful. Um, I love it. Wait, Bygone Days is is the tree, right? That, I mean, that's what that obviously is. I was just thinking, isn't doesn't Gregor have a Bygone Days? Bygone Days Ego. I'm thinking of the right one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The cursed ass looking thing. Okay. I had to make sure. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, Gregor does. It's liter it's literally this. I mean y'all already know this, but I, I I was doing this just so I could double check, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm over here saying turn in a fucking wolverine and it's a freaking tree. Listen, the, the hand the, the the claw okay, whatever, you know what? Let's just j just run it back. Just run it back. Just run it back. From the top. From the top, from the top, from the top. From the top. I mean, there, yeah, when you see claws like that, you're gonna think of Wolverine for a second, okay? Anyways. Bro, what the fuck? That is terrifying. Like, the branches just stretch out and just strangle the enemies. They're getting, like, slashed at the same time. And her hair is just like stretching, like holy, holy shit. Okay, that's cute. Raja always be eating in these freaking uh, these uh, introductions for her IDs and stuff. Always be eating. I'm just gonna say that's the equivalent of a Kit Kat bar. Let's go with that. Cute. Yeah, let her operate on you. What the hell? I think I had a pack of a pack of beef jerky somewhere. Wait, is that what that was? What the fuck? She just off herself in that? What the hell? Let me look at these animations again real quick. Let's go from the top with these animations. I don't even think I got to properly process it. Yeah, so this freaking mechanism she has there. Yeah, your 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 body is getting uh sawed up a little bit. And then what? And then what happened right here? Sorry, I'm trying to get an understanding. So Gregor gets hit, and then she gets affected by it somehow. Does she take the hit instead for him or something? Hmm. I gotta look at the comments to see how how she works gameplay wise. I mean, I could probably just look on Limbus's Twitter and it would it would tell me there. It's all fun and giggles till your own weapon starts talking, behold. You the offing myself a nator. With the city with this this city shall be mine. Okay, Dr. Doofin's merits. Okay, so it's literally a self-destructing purge. The Philip signature move, yeah, being a track star and running. Yeah, I know about Philip, alright. Yeah, Roger just left the fight and came back. Roger seems to be going to the wrong locations on purpose and thus sets off the security system which kills her. 
This could explain why she needs to wipe the data so she could have fun even during work hours being at the wrong location again. This is speculation, aka the goofball wants to have fun. What? What the hell? So we got introduced to a new association by Raja not once but twice. So this is a brand new association that was not in Project Moon lore before. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah, so they were chocolate bars. So yeah, yeah, so that's what it was. This one, I was thinking the Deviat uh, seemed like a cool association to work for. Her box fucking exploded. Yeah, it did. Do not unseal your limiter outside business hours. Current theory, the bag killing her is a unique death animation. Assuming that's the protocol to prevent the bag being stolen, tampered, or opened. Um, I assume the Deviat carry keys or use prints to open them so the bag just kills them to prevent anyone opening it which would make this a neat unique death like doom calendar or it's our two unit that could follow k hung lu into the pog dimension <laughs> what the hell so it looks like a rupture id with a conditional skill four and some sort of withdrawal mechanic and a condition under which she straight up explodes like K-Corp Hung Lu. Interesting. Uh, okay, so that's probably what it is. Because I know if you use too many of the freaking amples for um, Hung Lu, bro does get clapped. This kind of makes me want to look real quick. I don't typically... I mean, I yeah, I don't typically do this in Limbus videos. But let's just... Give me a sec. Let me just... Um, look up what she does specifically here yada, yada yada gain this uh so gain courier trunk percentage of this unit's max hp as shield ah yeah okay 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 combat start if this skill is to be activated gain the trunk of this unit's max hp as a shield yeah so the whole thing is it is similar to k corp hong lu except this is a shield instead of it being HP healed, because that's what K Corp Hung Lu does, right? They inflict defense level down for every X Courier on self. Okay, 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 bad, 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 bad. I was like, you ain't doing that defense level down to yourself. I'm like, why would you want that? Okay, my dumbass. And then, let's see. Rupture count, inflict additional rupture for every, like, shield you have, basically. And add a blank amount of shield, deal more damage. After attack of the target is staggered or defeated, gain haste. So you're dealing rupture, you're gaining haste, and you're gaining shield in here. Okay. This could be a good, a damn good unit. All right, that's cool. I was, I was a bit curious about what she could actually do, but now I have an understanding. So yeah, I think, I think she's good. I think she could be a little goofy unit at the same time, but very useful. She could be just like K Corp Hung Lu is hella useful with his healing so yeah i like these two well i like the id the freaking ego is straight up nightmare fuel but you can't have project moon without some freaking nightmare fuel i mean we could straight up check what the ego does too just real quick um just get a quick sum of, of what it does sinking okay wait a minute um heals two allies with the lowest hp percent oh okay yeah healing listen you know all of my healing egos so I will uh, gladly take that. Thank you. So we'll take that. Inflict sinking. Inflict curse. Inflict what? Gloom resonance. Uh, gloom fragility on hit. Inflict the uninvited. What is this? Upon this unit's death, the last attacker heals SP. <laughs> then a random ally without this effect gains stacks of this effect. Oh. Take more damage for every sinking on self. For focus encounters count sinking on each part separately reduced at turn end huh well that's interesting what the hell and then yeah the corrosion version of it prioritizes uh targets with the most sinking lose hp by a percentage of max hp heal three other allies with the lowest oh um for the sum of sinking potency and count on the main targets hp if Let's see here. At highest resonance, heal additional ally. And if the said resonance was a gloom resonance, um, heal a percentage more of the max HP. So sinking, curse, gloom, fr gloom fragility, uninvited, and inflict echoes of the manor next turn. <laughs> what 
the hell is Echoes of the Manor? Okay, well, both of these actually look solid, though. And like I said, you know I you know I love my freaking um, healing egos. And you have sinking going on here, too, and I like using sinking, so. Okay, there you have it. There is my thoughts on both of these, well, both the ego and the ID. Um, I won't pull for this stuff just because I don't have any pulls after Walpurgis Night, after I just had to do a 50 million pulls and such. But I'll definitely spark these two. These are two that I would definitely like to get. But if, if there's anything that I miss, let me know. This video went longer than I thought it was going to, but I wanted to, since uh, the information was already there, I wanted to get an understanding on what the uh, ID and Ego actually did, and now I know what they do. So, it looks sick. Um, other than that, my dudes, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new out here. I know I was late on this video, but I still wanted to get it out because I know some of you guys wanted to see my thoughts on it and stuff. Um, also, what, next month, the next chapter for Limbus, right? We just did the Walpurgis Night, the, the fourth one. I did my polls for that if you missed the live stream a few days ago. And as any new Limbus videos drop, I will try to be here a lot quicker than I was with this one, okay? So until the next one, appreciate y'all, love y'all, stay safe, and as I always do say, don't do crack. Be sure to subscribe to the Special K Experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.